Good morning, everybody. I'm, I'm here with, uh, I promised you yesterday that, or I promised you in the match play video that we would have a secret handicapper for, um, for match play, men's match play, and my secret handicapper. He tried, Neil about, Card. He tried about seven people <laughs> and I was the seventh, so Neil this, Card. Is, this is what he gets. So we're, today we're just going to kind of discuss the uh, match play, some of the uh, demographics behind it, and I'm going to talk about maybe some of the uh, matches to watch out for in that first round. So Neil, um, we've got a new division this year, the Open Division. It goes from a zero handicap to 4.9, oh, however, if you've got a 10 handicap and you want to go in the open, you're certainly qualified. You certainly welcome to do so, and if you have, uh, but uh, oh boy, you've got a you've got a tough road to hold. Yeah. Uh, now is that uh, still open for registration? Joe, no, everything that, is closed. Everything now. is closed. I am not doing the draws again, folks. That's it. It's done. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to get that in early because <laughs> I know how much you have to do. So in the open division, we have 24 players, as John said. We didn't have an open division last year, so we're looking for an inaugural champion this year. Uh, next is the A division, which we have 13 players. Uh, last year's winner was J.H. McDonald. J.H. has moved on. He found the competition here at Carlton way too difficult, <laughs> and he didn't want to be a two, try for a two-time win. Not true, not so, true. <laughs> so, not true. Well, we can say whatever we want. He's not here. Yeah. So J.H. Uh, is last year's winner. This year, there will be a new winner, and John can now tell you about a few of the matches that you should be uh, watching closely and that will record on as the season goes on. Okay, so look, in the open division, it's, it's uh, <laughs> the matches I'd love to see. Uh, in the first round, however, um, you know, I mean, we got some players here. I mean, Shane Stanley, number two seed, number two seed. Now, Shane went to the qualifier for the Canadian Open with Jared Coyle, a Aiden Coyle. Shane missed qualifying by one stroke. So we got we got some players here, folks. He's the number two seed. Jared's number one. And uh, um, it, and last year's club champion, uh, Elliot Riddell, he's the number 10 seed in this group. Oh, so so. so we've, got, we've got a, a crowd in here. Like, it is going to be a, a shootout. Uh, in our first round, the closest first round match, match however, is uh, Manny Respiro at C the 17 and Keenan Woods 16. And uh, that should be a good match. Uh, the winner, unfortunately, has to be Jared Coyle in the first round. But, but of course, with these guys, anybody can win. So that's going to be a good, uh, good uh, bracket to watch. The open is always going to be exciting. And the A division, A division matchup. Um, we have uh, number one seed, Matt Walsh. Glenn Coyle is the number two seed. And uh, there's not as many in this because this division goes from a five to 7.9. But it gives a, I mean, let's face it. If you've got a seven handicap and you're playing against Jared Coyle, who's got like a minus to one handicap, yeah, you probably don't have a chance. So, <laughs> so we, uh, we created a new division, five and eight to even off things. So these guys are playing straight up and, and they're very close. We don't have as many players, but it should be a good uh, good first round. So in the first round, we have a good matchup between Claude Tessier and Ken Watson. Claude's uh, 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 seated eight and Ken's nine. Okay, let's talk Perfect. about the B division now. B division, uh, a lot more players here. A lot, uh, a lot more folks fall into this handicap range. There are 29 people. Last year, Josh Busada, and Josh, I apologize if that's not the exact pronunciation, uh, but last year, Josh Busada was the champion of that particular division, and John's going to give you the matches to watch. Right, so the, the B division now goes from 8.1 to 13.9. Uh, uh, I think in that range, or 8 to 13.9. So it included some people that would normally be in C, now are in B. So we have a lot more people, and there are so many people. Mm -hmm. You can't, uh, uh, the number one seed is Benjamin Foster. Number two is Pete Richardson. Pete's won this before, so he's he's a former champion. And uh, uh, so it's going to be a very good uh, area to watch, but there's so many good matches. The closest number one seed are, are uh, between Ann Du, number, uh, 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 number 16 seed, and Paul Stevens, number 17 seed. So that should be a good one. 
Um, of course, Jeff Cordes is also a former winner here. He's seated 15th, and Ben he's playing Ben Butler, seated 18th. Jeff not only won the B one year, he won the City B. Well, because the winners of this go on yep. to play in the city match play, and he won that as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's go on to the C. C, 14 players. Now, this is getting closer to my level. John tells me there's no D division, so unfortunately, I couldn't sign up for that. <laughs> but the C division, there's 14 people. Last year's winner, a good friend, Michel Gazlin. And uh, he will be back to defend his championship. And John, again, will be here in just a sec to tell you who to watch. Well, in the C division match play, it, don't forget it's handicapped so that you're playing off the low handicap here. So it really is very, very close between everybody. Everybody's kind of even here. Um, and uh, Matt Deloria is our number one seed, Gustavo Zatino number two seed, and the big match to watch uh, between J.P. McAvoy and Charles Funk. Uh, J.P.'s ranked eight, uh, Charles number nine. Uh, former champion Michelle Gonsonai, last year's champion, is ranked 14th. He's playing Adam Lee. I, I played with Adam on Friday, so that should be a good matchup. Uh, uh, good one to watch, and of course, uh, former uh, 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 men's league champion Dave McDonald is playing John Marks as well. So let, some good matches in the seed to keep an eye on. Excellent. And now we go to the uh, the granddaddy here. Like, the whoa, whoa. Let's talk about the two men. Yeah, exactly. The, John and I had breakfast on Tuesday and he's telling me all the foibles of trying to get this all done. 128 players in two men. So clearly this is a very popular division uh, event for people to play in. Last year's winners, Vic Farr, Mr. Personality, and Jeff Cordes, also Mr. Personality. So those are the folks that are coming back this year to defend their championship. So John will give us an idea, in addition to Mr. Farr and Mr. Cordes, who to watch this okay. year. 64 teams. 64. 64 teams, four different uh, four different brackets, the Keir bracket, Gardner bracket, Kutcher bracket, and the McCaffrey bracket. Uh, eight teams, uh, sorry, 16 teams in each bracket. Um, and of course, you know, Vic Farr and Jeff Cordes, I think they've won this twice. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to win this? This is so difficult. John, I've never won anything, <laughs> so I wouldn't have any idea okay. how hard it is. Like, I'm, I'm telling you. Okay, so you've got you've got the obvious, you know, you've got Glenn Coyle and Jerry Coyle. Mm -hmm. If you're playing the Coyle father-son team, can you imagine how difficult it is to, to beat them? They were finalists, uh, I think not last year, but the year before. Yeah. And do you know how difficult it is? If Glenn hits one down the middle on number three, for example, Jared takes out the driver and says, well, I'm gonna go for the green. <laughs> like, who does that? Well, I can't do that. <laughs> Glenn hits one down the middle of number nine. Jared takes out his driver and hits one under 100 yards. He's, he's got a, a driver pitching wedge or, or a sand wedge. I don't want to insult you, Jared. It's probably a sand wedge into, the, into number nine. Who does that? I'm driver three wood. I'm not even close. So if you've got strokes on these guys, you better use them wisely because they don't make too many mistakes. Jared can drive number seven as well, and on a good day, probably drive number two. So you've got a lot of hope. And then, of course, you, all the par fives. They're all, he can hit them all in two. Same with Aiden Coyle and his partner. So we've got, uh, we've got some really good uh, matchups. However, there's strokes here, and strokes make all the difference. Mm -hmm. You know, if, mm -hmm. if you've got five strokes on another team, all you got to do is par a few of those holes, and you've got a birdie, net yeah. birdie. So they better be birding those holes, yeah. otherwise yeah. you're going to be up. So that's what makes it exciting. Um, so a lot of good teams here. I mean, there's just so many uh, great teams. Uh, we ran into McDonald Stevens last year. They were very good. Uh, and they, they eventually lost, I think, in the quarterfinals. Um, our team, Bonasteel Karam, is playing a former champion, Nicole and and, uh, and Van Kessel. We got them in the first round. Thank you very much. But this is all this is all random draw. There's no seeding here, uh, and I got a. I got to reiterate, you've got to get these matches in early June 21st. I got to go from 64 to 32 to 16 teams by August the 9th. I can't do that if if you're kind of like getting four people to agree on a time is tough. So you get those matches scheduled right away, please, please, please. Um, otherwise, my enforcer, not him, I got another one, uh, is going to uh, start giving you calls and harassing. 
Neil, thank you very much. Thank you, John. Very good. And we'll be back in a few weeks to discuss some of the results and uh, where we go from here. I'm looking forward to it, John. All right. All right.